Red Max Entertainment, turning music into memories. Hello guys, this is Brandon Haverla back from Red Max Entertainment, and uh, today we're taking a look at my DMX 3.0 and really programming a multi-step scene um, using my DMX 3.0. Uh, I had a couple requests for this video, so that's where this is coming from. And basically, uh, I opened up a new window of my DMX 3 here. So I'm going to create a few scenes here. We're going to go to the patch window. Um, again, assuming most of you guys know the basics of this program. If not, um, in the description there will be links to my my DMX videos, the starting ones. Um, watch those first, and then uh, this is really for more more detail regarding those issues. So what I'm working with today lighting wise um, as you can see on the screen are two Megapar profile pluses and um, here it is and I'm looking for that six channel mode is what I'm running them in and right now I've got the one on the left addressed to channel one and the one on the right addressed to channel two so I'm gonna patch those two fixtures quick I'm gonna go to edit one so now I have three scenes here now I'm going to make a few basic ones. Okay, and then I'm going to make a red slash blue. Um, now this is really just for, for demo purposes, but basically um, down here, I'm going to just separate these a little bit to where I have them positioned. So I have fixture one and fixture two. Now, for the red scene here, I'm just going to make sure I have both selected. And I'm on the Megapar Profile Plus tab, which is the only fixtures I have plugged in right now. Now, I want these to be red. So I'm going to bring up the red fader. Okay, and then I'm going to bring up the master dimmer. And then I also have to have the shutter on for these fixtures in order to have them all the way on the, the strobe. Um, dimmer 5 on these fixtures is either strobe, different speeds, and then all the way on. So that is going to be all the way on red. Now I'm going to go to the next scene. Okay, I'm going to highlight both of them. I'm going to blue on and all the way on. Okay. And then if I just go to live real quick, you'll see the lights go red to blue when I click them. That's the very basics of programming a one step scene basically. Now, to make those fade into each other, uh, which is in another video, I'm just going to run over it quickly though. Um, you're going to want to be in the edit tab. You're going to want to turn fade on. Okay. Add a few seconds to each side. Go to the next scene. Add a few seconds of fade. Okay. Now, when we go to live, this is the most important step when you do those fades. If I just go back and forth, they're not going to fade. What you have to do is click this button right here, these little two arrows. It almost looks like the shuffle button in any like DJ audio software. Um, you're going to click those two. Now, you will see the lights fade from each other at the time I set them to. So that's the very basics of, of setting color scenes and fading. Now I'm going to go to the red and blue scene that I made. Okay, um, And from here is where... Let me just pause this one. Uh, live tip. So what I left that running. So when I go and edit, the lights are always going to be on that. So now, red and blue. Um, I'm going to make the lights red, okay, for the first step, and then I want to make them blue for the second step. So how do we do that? We're going to go over to our steps window over here. First things first. I like to add a few new scenes. This way, they're all black. They're going to copy whatever the previous one was. So if I make this one red and then click add a new scene it's gonna copy that one to the scene after it uh, it's just one extra step when editing it I gotta turn the red off and then turn the blue on so I like to make myself a few scenes I could always delete them a few steps sorry and um, go to step one here okay now I wanna make both fixtures red once again make sure they're both selected red master dimmer and then this one has to be on with these with these fixtures now that that's done I'm going to go to click on step two and you'll notice these are all off now but step one is still red so step two let's make it blue let me turn on the master dimmer and channel five then three um, 
for the purposes of this video, I'm going to then make it red and I'm going to make it strobing. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to remember that number 87 and now I'm going to make blue strobing the last one. So I'm going to bring this up to 87. Okay, master dimmer all the way up. Now they're both doing that. So I've got red, blue, red strobe, blue strobe. Now this is the basics. You could you could do as many scenes as you want really. Right now I'm working on a project where I'm pre-programming a whole light show using this audio trigger. So when I click the scene, it triggers a song and I'm programming all the steps to that song. Um, I'm up to like 300 something steps. It's like a three minute song. Um, it's pretty crazy when there's other softwares to do it, um, but it's a free method and I really want to try it out to see what, see what the software is capable of. And so far it's worked great. The only user error I had was I didn't save my work and lost about a hundred steps. So basically, um, once you have these set up, right, if you play this under hold time, it's one second. So it's going to be one second, switch to blue for one second, switch to red strobe and then blue strobe. Now we could change these. So when I'm timing it to the music, I'm changing each of these based on the timing of the music. So say we want red to hold for two seconds, <clears throat> excuse me, blue to hold for two seconds. And then we want the strobes each for one second. Okay. Now the other thing is these beginning ones, we don't want them so harsh like they are now. We don't want it to just change to blue. Say we want them to fade. So we're going to turn this fade on. Now this is the fade in between steps. This is the fade in and out of the scene. Um, that's another good note <clears throat> to have. So I'm going to make it fade for two seconds. I'm going to make this one fade for two seconds. I'm going to make the strobes fade for one second. Now let's take a look at what that looks like when we play it from the beginning. All right, so there you go. You can see because I have the fade time on the strobes, they kind of overlap a little bit, um, which is a very cool effect when you want that quick color of strobe and then it gets purple for a little bit. Um, that's the reason I put the white fabric there for you guys to see what colors the lights really are without blinding out the camera. So that's really the basics of programming multi-step scenes. Now say I wanted this to go longer and just change the colors to make it easier for myself. Select all of them, click this little button here, the two squares, that's the duplicate button. Click on the last scene, it's gonna add them down here and then click the button next to it, the arrow, that's the paste. <clears throat> now you'll see it adds another four of those scenes, same exact ones. So now I can go in here quickly and just change this one to green and then change the blue to purple and then change this one to green and then change this one to purple. So now what I did was quickly just made a longer sy system, it copies all the, say, uh, all the fade times and all the hold times. So now it's going to go red, fade into blue, it's going to fade into red strobe and then fade into green, uh, sorry, blue strobe and then green and then it's going to go into purple and then it's going to go into the green strobe and then into the purple strobe. So that's really an easy way if you want to use the same effect multiple times but with different um, colors like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and uh, this way you stay up to date with our newest videos.